I am really pissed off. Um, I just went to Skip and Bosinger's channel, and because I was on Facebook, right? And I was talking to one of my friends, Age Love Thirteen, and you know, I was just talking to my brother. I was talking to my friend Ellie, and um, and then you know, my my friend Age Love Thirteen me like messages me, and she was like, "Have you gone on Skip and Bosinger's uh, channel lately?" And I was like, oh, "No, no, not really." And she's like, is she close? She's leaving YouTube till the end of the summer. I watched her in the video, so I went there and I watched it. And now, basically, I have one less reason to be on YouTube. One less reason to be on YouTube. I was only on YouTube because I, I love making videos and I I love you know like messing with electronics and you know doing a lot of you know fun cool editing and like making new friends and making doll videos. But then, one of my best friends went off YouTube, and that gave me one less reason to stay on YouTube. And, you know, I've dealt with so many mean comments, and I take them as compliments. Um, you know, and seriously, if my friend gets bullied on a community that she trusted, then what's the point, you know? I understand why she left. What's the point in being on a community where no one likes you? And I don't blame her. I like her. A bunch of people like her. Those people who don't are probably just jealous. Bad editing. Your lip syncing is really off. Your 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 like your videos are so stupid. Your channel's cool, but your videos are dumb. Seriously, how would you feel if someone said that to you? Not very good, would you? What if Skip and Bosinger said that to you? And don't say you wouldn't care, because I know you would. I know for a fact you would care. Don't pretend like you wouldn't, because I know you would care. Everyone would care. And Skip and Bosingers cares. So think, you hurt her and made a bunch of her fans angry. Half of the community, the American Girl Doll community, loves her. Okay? They all like the American Girl Doll people on here. But what we don't like as a community are cyber bullies. And American Girl Doll community cyber bullies are especially what we don't like. And I can't tolerate that kind. So seriously, if you're going to be mean, just don't say anything at all. Being mean is not worth it. Okay? Save your breath. Don't waste your energy. It's so stupid talking and insulting people. It makes me sick. Okay? Just stop commenting badly on her videos. You're making my best friend be forced off YouTube just because you don't like her videos. If you have nothing to say, don't say anything at all. And I know you've heard that so many times before. I don't really care. You're gonna have to hear it one more time. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. That's all I'm gonna say. Seriously, it's so stupid how you have to be mean and criticize. And yes, you're probably just gonna be like, oh, I was just trying to give advice to her. That's, no, no. Trying to give advice is this. Oh, I love the video. I, I kind of really like the video. But to be honest, the, the editing could have been better, but I actually kind of like the video. Keep up the good work. You could have been that. That's good criticism. This is bad. This video sucks. I hate all your videos. Your channel's kind of cool, but the bad, but the videos suck. They're all so bad. That, yeah, do you think? No. Don't be so Simon Cowell on everything. I like Simon Cowell, except for when he's, like, you know, a douche. But, yeah. Anyway, my best friend got forced off YouTube just because people didn't like her videos. And that really makes me angry. Next thing you know, Steven's What a Dancer could be forced off YouTube. I could be forced off YouTube. Caitlin could be forced off YouTube. You know, a bunch of people could be forced off YouTube just because of you. Just because of your terrible attitude just because you don't like them okay just because five people comment badly on one of your video that could force them off that could really make them angry and make them upset 
how would you feel if a bunch of people were commenting about you on your video, saying how much you suck, how bad your videos are, how the editing could have been better, how you lip sync too fast, and then you were forced off YouTube? How would you feel? I bet you wouldn't feel very good. And like I said, everybody cares. And I care. Skip and Bow Singers cares. Caitlin cares. And I especially know you care. I'm not going to name names, but I saw names in the video. And I, I recognize some of those names, and I was actually shocked to know that. I was shocked. To know that some of the people I have trusted, I have watched their videos, I thought they were such the, like, one of the nicest people I've ever met, would do that to my best friend. I'm standing up for Kay uh, Kaylee because she's not here right now. So, if she can't speak, I'm going to be her voice, okay? So stop commenting badly on her videos. Otherwise, every girl in the AEG community will leave YouTube simultaneously possibly, you know, not simultaneously at the same time, individually. So, I've been ranting and raving for over six minutes because I'm trying to stick up for my best friend. And if I'm not allowed to do that, if I get hate comments, I don't give a crap, okay? I don't really care what you say to me. I only care what you say to my friends. And I know, don't care, don't put other people's lives in front of yours. You're more important than them. No, I don't want to be conceited. I don't want to be a smart aleck, okay? I put other people before me. Because I know that I, that their life could possibly be a little more important than mine. No, I'm not suicidal. No, I'm not homicidal. No, I'm not attempt homicidal or suicidal. But... I put other people first because I care. I might care about those people, and if anything bad's gonna happen, it's like to them first. Like if we're gonna get robbed or something, I want it to happen to me so they have a chance to escape. Cause I'm not a conceited brat. I'm not calling anyone a conceited brat. I'm just saying I'm not like that, and you guys should know that. And you should know that Kaylee is a good person. Caitlin's a good person. Kaylee has awesome videos. Okay. She even got bad comments on the backstabber video, which we all made together. Which makes no sense. So that just shows that people are just cornering her. So leave her alone, okay? She's my best friend. And I don't want anyone messing with my best friend. This may sound harsh, but I'm trying to make it something. I'm trying to help my best friend. And if you don't think I'm able to do that, if you don't think I should be allowed to do that, I don't really care. This is my belief, and I'm going to stand by it. I'm going to help my best friend. If you want to help, thank you. If you don't, you just walk away. Whatever. You know? Frankly, it's entertaining to get, you know, bad comments, seeing how they're just, you know, wasting their time getting, you know, giving me bad comments. I think it's kind of, you know, a little, you know, funny. But when they get this bad, over and over and over again, one by one, if you go to your inbox and you have a whole page of bad comments, at least even two pages, then that's a problem with all the people who are commenting badly. Leave my friend alone. I am really sick of it.